Today we'll be talking about everyone's favorite subject, simps. More specifically, why simping is unhealthy and the consequences of simping. Now, I know the topic of simps is a little old now, but this has been a topic that I've been wanting to actually discuss for quite a while, and I finally feel like I have enough here to really talk about it. Now, for those of you who don't know, a simp is a sucker idolizing mediocre P word. People who spend a bunch of money donating to these e thought Twitch streamers. Simps. Guys who are willing to give up anything they may want just to please a woman. Simps. A guy who actually thinks women should be treated with respect and not be forced to cook all day in the kitchen. Simp. Now the whole concept of simps really took off after this video went viral earlier this year. This really annoying video that I'm sure just looking at it instantly has that stupid song stuck in your head. The OK Boomer Girl supporting Bernie Sanders going viral on TikTok. Yeah, that's what started the whole simp thing. And I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of some impressive shit. I mean, could you imagine if you kickstarted your career all because you were able to do OK Boomer? Please subscribe to my Twitch Prime. I'm not here to hate on this very annoying chick. I'm just going to use her as a bit of a Kickstarter for my video on simps. So after this chick went viral on TikTok and she realized that having an army of simps is actually an extremely lucrative business, she hopped on Twitch where she posted this absolutely pathetic rant where she hardcore encourages simping. And I'm sure she has no financial incentive to be encouraging simping. But when someone is talking about guys simping for a girl, I just don't understand what's wrong with like worshiping a girl. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? That's okay. Already the, the first falsehood here. Now, I don't expect much intelligence coming from this chick who's very obviously just an e-thought booby streamer who happened to go viral because she liked Bernie Sanders. So I'm not expecting anything particularly intelligent here. However, we've only watched this for like five seconds and she's already just factually incorrect. The truth is, and this goes for whether you're a boy or a girl, you shouldn't be worshiping anyone or anything. There's a lot wrong when a guy is worshiping a girl, because what does it really mean to worship a girl? Probably obsess over her, probably think about her all the time, worship the ground she walks on. That's not healthy behavior. That's actually coming really close to a celebrity worship syndrome, which is a legitimate psychological disorder. Celebrity worship syndrome has been described as an obsessive addictive disorder where an individual becomes overly involved and interested with the details of the personal life of a celebrity. Any person who is in the public eye can be the object of a person's obsession, but research and criminal prosecution suggest they are more likely to be someone from the world of television, film, and or pop music. So to answer her question, this is the first reason why worshipping a girl and simping is bad. It's a legitimate psychological disorder, an obsessive addictive disorder. Secondly, you shouldn't be worshipping anyone because not only is that unhealthy for your own mental health, but it's actually unfair to the person you're worshipping. Let's say, for example, that you're just a raging simp and that, yeah, you're fine with worshipping a girl. So you do. You worship her. You put her on a pedestal. Well, no one is perfect. And what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for disappointment and you're setting that girl up for failure. Lastly, if you worship someone, the odds are you're more likely to change for that person or sacrifice your own desires for that person, which isn't always a bad thing, but if it's motivated purely from an idolization of that person, then that's certainly unhealthy. You want to strive towards success for yourself. If you're striving to succeed and make money, lose weight, get healthier, look different, whatever, if that motivation is coming from impressing someone else or impressing a girl, that change is not going to be genuine and it won't last. So again, it's not fair to you. Girls deserve to be worshipped. Wrong. All right. Not Wrong. saying specifically me. Okay. But girls should be worshipped. Simps are her core audience. So to encourage her audience to continue worshipping girls and that it's fine to worship women or whatever, that's benefiting her financially. So let's actually break this down. If you're worshipping a woman, why? Why are you worshipping her? Is it because she's a woman? Because that's just flat out wrong and that's actually not a quality. Or is it based on her character and who she is as a person? All women do not deserve to be worshipped 
all women deserve to be treated as equals. So it really comes down to why you're worshiping this person. I still don't think you should really be worshiping anyone, but hey, sometimes, you know, that line can move a little bit. For example, I'm a married guy. I love my wife. I'm a simp for my wife, except I don't actually consider myself a simp. I prefer the term sifp, which means sucker idolizing fire P word. I also think that this entitled encouragement of simping is indicative of a larger problem. Now, as we all know, we live in a society. And I think right now, people are very set in this all or nothing attitude. And this extends a lot further than just women. This seeps into politics and even our day-to-day -day life. For example, there's derangement syndrome. No matter what that person does, they are always bad and you'll never acknowledge if they ever do anything right. That's not an objective way of looking at things. Then there's simping syndrome, where no matter what this person does, they're awesome, they're the best, and they should be worshipped. I think there are some people that are Donald Trump simps. I think there are some people that are Bernie Sanders simps. I think there are some people who simp after women. Hell, I think there are Christians who are God simps. The all or nothing attitude doesn't contribute towards finding actual truth, and instead it just pushes people towards a side. But girls should be worshipped. All right. No, no. It doesn't mean you're a simp. Yes, it does. All right. Simping isn't bad. Simping is king shit. Okay. You're a king if you're or if you're not afraid to simp. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. You heard it with your own two ears. Simping is king shit. I remember when King Arthur went off to battle, and the only thing motivating him was his woman. That he. Holy shit. King Arthur was a simp. Maybe simping is king shit and not in a good way. I'm putting my foot down right here and I'm saying no, no, no. Simping is not king shit. Here's a simp who is suing Twitch right now because he's claiming that the sexually suggestive female streamers caused him harm. So let's take a look at this king shit. A sex addicted California man is suing streaming service Twitch for $25 million for exposing him to so many scantily clad women and in turn exacerbating his condition and causing him to hurt himself. Twitch has extremely exacerbated his condition by displaying many sexually suggestive women streamers through Twitch's twisted programming and net code, making it nearly impossible for the plaintiff to use Twitch without being exposed to such sexual suggestive content. And this simp claims he injured his genitals and destroyed his computer while using the streaming service. So this simp was on some crazy king shit and actually is claiming now that he injured his genitals because of all of the hot booby streamers on Twitch. There was another article that showed this guy was following like 700 female Twitch streamers, and I don't think he was following any male streamers. So yeah, he's a simp, but hey, I guess this is king shit. He's just scrolling through Twitch, drinking his soy, drinking beer, objectifying women, you know, all that good shit. Like, oh yeah, I am worshiping this girl so hard. I'm a fucking king. But seriously, I wanted to show you guys this story because it's really, really funny and I think it's very indicative of how pathetic simps really are. And for this bitch to be up here claiming that simping is king shit, this ain't king shit, my friends. So what are the consequences of simping? Well, we kind of already went over the negative consequences to your own mental health. However, there's also a different consequence that I don't think too many people actually talk about. When men simp, when men are willing to lay down everything they have just to appease the pretty woman with the boobies, what this does is it breeds entitlement. It breeds entitlement among these female Twitch streamers. I'm sure plenty of you have seen this clip, but I still want to look over it for context and look at this clip as an example of what happens when you simp. When these e-thought Twitch streamers get comfortable with the fact that they have hundreds of thousands of men who are so horny they're willing to just fork over their entire paycheck to them, that breeds entitlement. It breeds this spoiled princess mentality. Here's the deal. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing. Because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. 
$20 is you can get a full meal for $20. You can get a full meal for a lot cheaper than $20. How privileged is this bitch? But a sub is $5 at maximum in whatever your currency is. You can also get a sub from Subway for $5. Not the best, but $5. And then, hey, in turn, you get a good sub for five bucks and you don't have to contribute to this e-beggar. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have ten dollars, truly. If you don't have ten dollars, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working, you should be trying to earn money. Listen to the disgusting amount of entitlement here. Come on, everybody just has five bucks laying around. Yeah, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and plenty of people are unemployed, but come on! You can see how she is embracing this mentality where she thinks that she is owed the sub, where she is owed the money. She's providing a stream for free, and people have the option to donate. If they want to help out, they can donate to her, but she's acting as if that's expected. Probably because she's come to expect it because of all the thirsty men that follow her. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. All right, sit, sit your ass down, Dave Ramsey. Even if people do have $5 and then they say they're broke, they don't have to donate to you. I do streams also, okay? I get donations and I'm very grateful for them, but I would never show up on a stream expecting donations. I just think the fact that this dumb bitch is up here preaching about how, oh, it's not that much money, it's just 10 bucks, five bucks, come on, if you don't have that money, you're a loser kind of thing. That's so entitled. And this right here, my friends, is the consequences of simping. But there you guys have it. Be a king, don't simp. Be a king, treat women decently, treat women with respect, but don't sacrifice all of your own goals and desires just because there's a booby e thought that you think is pretty. Please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all soon. <gasps> I think my wife's home. I gotta go!